Thank you so much for giving me a moment of your time. I know you're a very busy man. Thank you very much. Saving the world and whatnot, you know? I see it's laundry day. <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, all right, you know. I I'll tell you right now, man, I'll be 100% honest, Superman, of all the superheroes is not normally my favorite. And okay. the reason why is because I always feel like Superman has everything. He's a good looking dude, he's got all the powers, he can fight anybody. But I, what I love about these two films, Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman is instead of worrying about what Superman can do, they worry about what Superman should do. That's mm -hmm. the focus on what should he morally do? So what yeah. was that like for you to, to really attack it from a different angle instead of like, how hard can I punch things? you know, kind of, how do I solve these problems? Yeah, it, the interesting thing which we're exploring in this movie, which hasn't really been shown before, is the development of Superman. Mm -hmm. There is the Superman in the comic books who we know and love, or don't love in your case. <laughs> and he is the paragon of hope and justice and rightness. And in this, we see him growing into that. He's learning his lessons. He is... The most wonderful thing about Superman is that despite the fact he's an invulnerable alien with all these powers, he is the most human out of all the Superman. He really is. He is the most vulnerable in a psychological, human way. And what makes him special when we see his fully developed self is that he has risen above his own ego. Mm -hmm. And right now he's still battling with that ego inside him, which is both positive and negative. Right. He, it's not like a, a sense of... Uh, I think I'm the best, it's a sense of I am feeling let down by myself, I wish I could do this, this hurts me because I should be able to do that but I can't right. and it, it's damaging to him and we yeah. see him just being the juvenile superhero going through growing pain. What's your position the Bat Vigilante in Gotham? Daily Planet. Wait, do I own this one? Or is that the other guy? Civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. Good people living in fear. Don't believe everything you hear, son. I've seen it, Mr. Wayne. He thinks he's above the law. The Daily Planet criticizing those who think they're above the law is a little hypocritical. What'd you say? Considering every time your hero saves a cat out of a tree, you write a puff piece editorial about an alien who, if he wanted to, could burn the whole place down. It wouldn't be a damn thing we could do to stop it. Most of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Maybe it's the Gotham City in me. We just have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. I, I can completely agree with that. Um, all right, I've been doing this with everybody. It's real quick. It's a lightning round of, this is a versus movie, so five verses. I'm gonna give you options. You pick which one. Okay. You ready? All right, Krav Maga or Taekwondo? Uh, I would say Krav Maga. Okay, uh, beach or mountains? Mountains. Okay, uh, billion dollars or the ability to fly? Fly. Okay, uh, football versus basketball? Football. Okay, uh, and all powerful or all knowing? All knowing. All right, well thank you so much, Thank you sir. very much. And you just made a Superman fan out of me. <laughs>